Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 15 of the Deco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Today's an easy farm, so we should have no trouble. Uh, I ran a couple of miles today, um, just kind of getting back up to speed from getting back on my travels. Uh, I am actually still posting on my uh, travels on Instagram, so definitely if you are curious about so right now on my Instagram stories, I am technically still in Riga and Latvia, um, ready to move on. So if you want to see, curious about how that ends, check out on Instagram. I need to put up videos at some point, but um, yeah, okay. Maybe like a, a really much delayed vlog or something, but um, yeah. Anyway, so let's take a look at today's farm. We have 2900 longest Anjiko adjacent group sequence, subsequence one. Okay, you're given a string array words and a binary array groups. Uh, what's up i da, 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 longest alternate what <coughs> man this is supposed to be easy but the reading is not easy at all okay so you have to find the longest subsequence to do, do, do such that groups is okay so and groups are only zero or one so basically you have to do the longest zero one zero one right um i don't think there's anything too tricky about that because it's subsequence um and so there are only two scenarios that could, um, and what I mean by that is that everything is forced, right? Because the, you, the two scenarios is that either the first, uh, um, the first characters of group zero or the first characters of group one, then everything kind of, you're forced to. It almost, you could say that in a greedy way, you could choose the next zero, but if you have consecutive ones together, it almost doesn't even matter, right? It's almost like, you know, compressed. But of course you have to select, you have to actually return the, the subsequence, not just the longest length or whatever. So there might be some some potential for silliness there. Um, yeah. Okay. I think that's that. That's all, all the things that I think about. Um, I think I get I get a comment the other day. I just want to talk about this before I start, and maybe not many people watch this, so I might talk about this again on a harder problem. Is that I think people often watch these videos um both my videos and also just videos in general in a passive way and what i mean by that is that they've you know uh, um when i like uh, like the analogy is that and i've been watching a lot of basketball because well the knicks are doing well for the first time in a long time knock on wood they lost today but you know uh, uh, uh but still they you know we'll see knock on wood but my point is that like you don't get better at playing basketball by watching someone explain basketball, right? You get better at basketball by playing basketball. It's it's obvious when you talk about basketball, but somehow people don't really um, apply that for programming or competitive programming. Some of you might, but even if you kind of agree with that statement, you might not do the things that enable you to do it, right? And what I mean by that is that um, I think when you watch videos like mine or you know other people's, um, and they're really smart people, what I think what people try to focus on is understanding, right? And understanding is fine, is good, but it's not the same as doing, right? Um, and you know you could copy my code or whatever, and it'd be like, oh, that's doing. But no, 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 no. You want to be able to solve these problems on your own. And for me, that um, if my teaching style is a little bit awkward and Honestly, not all, not all my videos are going to be hits, right? Not everything's going to be good. Not everything's perfect because every problem's different. If every problem's the same, then you don't need to watch me because then you just do it exactly the same way. The, the truth is, every problem's different, and even the same problem, maybe I solve multiple times. I try to solve it in different ways in hopes that, um, in hopes that. Or explain a different way, maybe not solve a different way. It hopes that one of the ways will connect with you, right? Um, in either case, my point is that I foc I don't focus on making people understand. I focus on enable people to try to do what I'm doing, right? And of course, very often the way that I'm doing it is not the only way, but it's also the only way that I know how, right? Or uh, maybe not even that, but but it's the way that I'm focusing on, right? So I guess what I'm saying here is that, um, yeah, like understanding is not, remember, I mean, of course, maybe you could say that understanding is a prerequisite to being able to do it, but that is not your goal, 
right? Your goal is not to understand problems, and your goal is not to understand solutions, which is even worse than understanding problems. Your goal is to be able to come up with solutions, and that's what I try to do, not always successfully. So I don't know. Anyway, that's all I want to say. So I think, you know, because uh, uh, I, I get a lot, I, not a lot, but once in a while I get comments on like, oh, Larry's terrible at explaining. Um, be, and I'm like, no, that's not what I'm trying to do necessarily, right? I'm trying to work through these problems and explain not the solution, but explain my thought process in in coming up with the solutions, right? And sometimes I'm doing, and all this I'm doing live, right? Like I'm not prepared for it. Most videos you watch are people not doing it live. So everything sounds perfect, looks perfect. And, and, um, and you know the solution, or they know the solution, you know the solution, they make you feel like you're smart. But the idea is, and you know, you have to work at these things, right? And for me, like, yeah, like I have good days, I have bad days as well, both on the solving and both on the explanation. So, you know, it is what it is. But my goal is not to explain the solution. You could click on editorials, you could create a solution. And wow, and you could actually, like, if you look at these three tabs, well, three of the four tabs tell you the solution, right? You could go submission, uh, uh, maybe not submission, but because I think there's a thing where you click on, on like the, like if you click on this, oh, okay. And you could click on that and it gives you another solution, right? I mean, this is, you know. So like solution gives you the solution, editorial gives you the solution. So I, I'm not, my videos are trying to do something different, which is give you um, a perspective on someone who is way, Oh, okay. Maybe, I don't know. Or at one point, I would say is good at competitive programming, right? Maybe not top tier, top or like top top tier, but still pretty okay, right? Um, and sometimes I'll admit to you, I'll be like, oh, I know this because I know this, and that's you know it is what it is. Or like I know this because this is trivia in the sense that like I just kind of know certain things, or I've done something similar recently ish, right? You know, all these things kind of uh, uh, apply. But my goal, again, is not explanation. If I want to do explanation videos, I would do an explanation video. I, I, what I want you to do with these, with these problems is, or with these videos, is to solve it with me. You do the problems. When you get stuck, you see how I thought for every step of the way. Feel free to pause every step, or maybe not every step, but pause here and there. Um, and then like, you know, once you get to, maybe like you get a new information, use it as a hint and then pause and then try to solve it again. You know, there are a lot of things you can do, but I'm not here to tell you how to do that. You have to figure out how, what is the best way you, you learn from these videos. And yeah, and part of that ultimately is also going to be um, asking the right questions, right? And I, I don't. I wouldn't go as far as saying it frustrates me. It's just that it's useless for people to say like, "Oh, um, like I don't understand," or it's useless to say, "Oh, your explanation is bad," or "You didn't explain it." I'm like, I mean, okay, fine. These are information, but it's not useful. It's not actionable, right? Like, do you? It's almost like um, it's like that trope of someone going. Um, like you're speaking English, the other person doesn't speak English, and you're just like saying English, but slowly and loudly. Like, no, nah, I mean, like, if you don't understand it, you have to ask a question that enables you to understand it, right? Like, if, if like, you know, may, you have to be specific, right? And actionable. If, if you just wanted to rant, that's fine. It's useless, though, for me anyway, and it's a waste of my time, and I don't appreciate that per se. Um, like if you go, oh, so I, I'm, a, you know, you could be like, oh, I'm confused about why there are only two, like for this particular problem, why there are there only two scenarios? Why? Oh, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, there are only two scenarios because X, Y, Z, because it's forced. So or every subsequence you're going to get, it's just going to be one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, or zero, one, zero, zero, one. Oh, I said that wrong, maybe, but you get the idea, right? Um, and I think that's the, the more important part. Um, uh, that, that's the more important part, right? Is that you have to figure out how to learn and also not be frustrated or at least be frustrated at the right things, right? If you get frustrated at a r random person who might have a chance of helping you, 
that's not good. If you get frustrated in, at yourself in a way, in a healthy way, that enables you to work out why, right? Then that's fine. And keeping in mind, you know, like, if it's not frustrating, you're not doing work anyway, right? Everything is supposed to be hard because if it's easy, then you're not learning. Uh, I mean, okay, there are some repetition e things, but you get my point, right? So everything is frustrating, but, you know, you have to learn how to enable people to teach you. All right. So ask specific questions. Otherwise, you know, like I get a comment the other day on YouTube about like, uh, I forget. How, I don't know. I'm just a little bit ranty today because the next loss, I think. But uh, let's see. Let me find the comment real quick. Uh, gotta, but but I got a comment about uh, like. Uh, Uh, I got to come literally just for no explanation. I'm like, dude, you know, at least, you know, like, I don't know. What, what do you want me to do? You want me to just re illuminate my video? Like, I try my videos. And also, to be honest, that one was also like a lead code contest easy, which honestly, a lot of the times it's just like, read the problem and then implement it. I don't know. If I don't have an explanation necessarily, it's because there might not be one. And if you really need one ask in a way such that someone can explain it to you you know like uh, enable help yourself be better and you know getting annoyed at random internet people is not going to make you be a better person okay anyway that was a very long rant but uh but i feel like you know uh uh people and, and this is stuff that um especially if you're starting out you're learning out um, this is stuff that um, is very important, right? It's part of soft skill. It's part of like learning how to grow, right? Like you are going to deal with senior and staff and senior staff engineers who just don't have time for you. And you can't just be like, I mean, you can, and sometimes they were nice. So, most of the times I'm not that nice, but you can't just be like, oh, explain to me everything. I don't understand. No, you have to be like, okay, I, I did X, Y, and Z. I, you know, th these are the things that I tried. I, I can't get this to work. Wh wh what am I missing, right? Or something like that. Um, like, you have to be able to show that you, you do, you know, you put in an effort. Can, you know, all right, that's a long rant. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, do it again tomorrow or something on a horror bomb that people actually solve. But in any case, uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. All right. I mean, I think that's it, right? So now we have to solve this problem. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I think there's actually a greedy one too, but I think the other one is just that you don't have to prove. Because um, I think greedy is that you always take the first element because by, by um, yeah, yeah. Because the proof is that, I mean, it, it's just proof by contradiction, right? Because if you take a one, because I said that there are two possibilities and actually in a lot of similar problems, that's going to be the case, which is why it's a useful thing to kind of have. Um, is an observation that you can make time and time again. But actually in this one, especially specific to this one, um, you could do a contradiction proof, right? Proof by contradiction. Well, okay. If we try a, a, a group where we have one to begin with, well, then you could always put a zero on top to make it longer, right? And that's it. That's the proof. Maybe you could say exchange. I don't know. Uh, uh, depending on how you, you know, you go about the proof. So, okay. So I think that's pretty much it, right? So here, maybe we will write, um, uh, yeah, last is equal to group sub zero. Uh, answer is equal to, uh, an array where word sub zero, right? And then now for I in range of, let's just say one to N. Um, uh, one to N, what do we do? Uh, yeah, if, uh, 
groups sub i is not equal to last, then, well, group sub, oh no, the other way, last is equal to group sub i, and also answer that append with sub i, and then that's it, right? Basically, what I'm doing is just that I, I take the first um, delta thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is a very long video, but I hope that, you know, you, you listen to my rant. Maybe I need, uh, I don't know, because I, I feel like the reason why I say it like that is because um, um, for easy problem, people don't watch my easy videos as often because they know the answer to the easy one, so they don't watch it, which is fair. Um, but I think what I said was important, uh, or at least it comes up. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree. Um, if you have actual questions about this farm, of course, and how you feel in general. Uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.